At the Johnson Space Center in Houston, astronaut Pam Melroy is living her dream. It's a dream that began long before NASA tapped Pam to be an astronaut. Her journey to space began in Rochester. There she is, and here I am, from the class of 79, Bishop Kearney High School. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> Six months into training for her next space shuttle mission, Pam and I had a class reunion for two. Rochester's special to her. In Rochester, being a celebrity is something a little bit different. It's a little bit like coming home to your family and everybody's just happy to see you. I love the fact that, that people uh, do know, know that I have that connection with them and they sense it and they're proud of it too. On Pam's third trip to space, she won't just be part of the crew, she'll lead the crew. NASA has chosen her to be the commander of this mission, guiding six other astronauts as they deliver and install another connecting node to the International Space Station. The training is long and arduous. Here, she and pilot George Zamka practice using a robotic arm to move around a boom and a simulator called the dome. That's actually one of my primary responsibilities as a commander, is to make sure that the crew is in every way, shape, and form prepared for what they're about to experience. This is when everything ramps up, and I've already been kind of warning all the rookies on my crew, okay, you know, you need to stop doing things, you need to start protecting your downtime, and because we all have to study in the evenings and on the weekends. Overall training for Pam's next mission to space began in August, and it's in full swing now. In fact, Pam told us here at the Johnson Space Center, this was our last and final chance to speak with her prior to the launch in the fall. Right now, it's, it's hard for me, so I probably won't be back to Rochester before I fly. It's just hard to get the vacation away uh, from the training program. Her routine demands absolute focus, but Pam's used to it. Before NASA chose her to become an astronaut, she was an Air Force test pilot. She flew a shuttle to space in 2000 and once more in 2002. Now she's only the second woman ever to command a NASA space mission. And though she understands why people ask her for her autograph, it's taken Pam a long time to get used to her celebrity so status. I'm not um, uncomfortable with it anymore, but it is occasionally, um, I've, occasionally I find it hilarious. <laughs> well, on that note, would you sign this? <laughs> As she puts it, she's an ordinary woman with an extraordinary job. This is what I was meant to do, and I wouldn't be happy if I weren't doing it.